Sergio. Hey, I'm Chino. We're from Deftones, and you're watching Crave Online. I heard you guys recorded just a ton of songs for this record. Yeah. But that doesn't indicate any real sense of brevity. Like, there's a lot of songs that are over five minutes long well, on the we, album. Yeah, but we, actually we didn't record a ton, a ton of songs. We, we wrote a lot of, and not even so much songs, but we had a lot of ideas. Like we wrote, you know, some things that weren't all the way fleshed out, I guess, whatever, some idea, you know, but... Um, but there were tons of, of ideas. We actually only recorded the this, this song, well, 13 songs, 11 are on the record. So, uh, but um, those are the ones that we, gravi- you know, we gravitated towards. But out of the ideas, we probably had close to like 40 ideas. For us, that's a lot because usually, like I said, we only, we only write what, what, what ends up on the record. I mean, we go in the studio and we record the songs that we wrote, and that's usually like 11 songs or 12 songs maybe. So, uh, so it was like there was definitely a flow of, uh, you know, of, of of creativeness that was going on with you know with, with all of us at the time i think a lot of it coming off the success of diamond eyes feeling really really uh um like confident about you know where we're at and at this time and, and having fun doing so it was it worked out and you wrote a lot of it together in the same all of it all yeah all of it was was written with us five guys in, in the room um a, a, a little room where you know everybody just up on each other just like you know <laughs> hearing an idea and then here's my idea over that and here's my idea over that and it's very instantaneous you know like uh uh i think the, the initial idea that we had when we we're going to make a record especially these last two records was capturing that you know lightning in a bottle or or, or capturing this moment in time um and and i feel like when you when we do make a record like that and we're all in the same room writing together it's really like the essence of really what it is like an idea sparks and you 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 capture that that I you know my initial reaction to that idea is this and his initial reaction to that idea is this and there you and there you have it it's like you captured that you know the initial thing it's not like you know we're we're in the past where a few records back where someone would have an idea and then like six months later I'm finishing my part to it and whatever and it's like you know so it's like you. You, it's, it's easier to lose focus of why you even wrote that song in the first place or that idea in the first place and this is like very you know instantaneous so it's good that's fantastic yeah um, in terms of overall ideas you said it seems like generally after a record you guys will go out and record a bunch of covers and you did that this time around too right we haven't yet we're going oh, to yeah, okay. we're doing that at the end of this month I believe um, we uh, we were supposed to do it a couple weeks ago but we we, uh, we got caught up doing other stuff and uh um, the mixing and all this stuff of this record actually took a little longer than than than, uh, than we thought, so um, that kind of pushes back a little bit. But hopefully, at the end of this month, we're going to record. We still haven't actually picked the songs we're going to do, so that's that's kind of the yeah, that was the next question. that's kind of the most important part. <laughs> we have some ideas, but um, um, I think we're we're we just we narrowed it down to some to some decades. I think we're going to do something forties, fifties, uh, maybe something from the seventies. We all we we've done a lot of eighty stuff, which is always fun. But I think we're going to. Um, so we have a few different artists from those genres that we're that we're trying to wean it, wean out and figure it out yeah, still. That's yeah. So is it just sort of a tradition you guys keep with as a means of it, Yeah, it was kind of an unspoken tradition until like recently we realized, well, we every record we do covers at the end of it, and it's it's always fun, you know, um, especially because you're done doing your creative part as far as like you know writing this record and then recording it and mixing it and all this stuff, and then it's like, okay, now this is the fun part, you know, you just do so, you know, you're, you're doing your take on someone else's song you know what i mean so it's like the pressure of of like of even though there you know you still want to make it great it's like a it's 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 not as there's not as much pressure i guess because it's not like something that you did it's just doing something else so it almost can be anything you know it can come out no matter which way it comes out as long as it's 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 not defacing the, the song that was already there which sometimes can be hard because a lot of times the, the songs that we pick are songs that we like and there's a reason why we like them because they're already recorded great and they're good songs you know what i mean so so we sh- obviously we don't want to like completely like you know um devalue the song but um but at the same time just like have fun with it and it could be whatever it is you know and especially if we do something that's sort of out of our element you know it's, it always makes it fun yeah. Yeah. yeah i got a question for sergio in terms of ideas all around there's um an ocean of quicksand fans out there who really want to hear more of your ideas and your base and how that that comes to presence and um when listening to the record i know we didn't hear the final you know version of it or what have you the final master version but it really sounds like there's a lot more bass depth to it and the bass seems higher in the mix um i say mix loosely given you know <laughs> what we've heard but um is there anything to be said for that or any uh any particular way that you approach this record no i think uh that what was really cool about diamond eyes is is um how open these guys were to me and allowed me to collaborate and 
to me, it's, it's, uh, I got to collaborate on that record and come up with ideas and got to do things. And what's cool about the Deftones as a band and their width of expression is, is like, it's not like I'm going to like, it's going to be like, oh, he just came in because it's like this, 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 it's wide, it's open. And, and, and in, in a way, like we resonate from, from very similar places and we come from, with uh, very similar like backgrounds in terms of not being so genre specific in what we like and what we're about. And there's so much commonality that it was just a nice thing to fit in. And, and like the fact that almost like my, like collaborating on something and not necessarily being seen as coming in to me is cool because I didn't disrupt anything. And it's a really cool, energetic record. And the fact that I get to do it again now, everyone in this band is so talented. I'm a fan of each individual. And I, I'm convinced that each one of them can make their own records by themselves. And I would be down with each one of them. Just to be a part of that and not mess it up to me is like, is tight. <laughs> Yeah, and like it's inspiring because they're so affirming. They're just like these guys get so excited about each other's riffs and 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 are so willing to jump on each other's ideas. It's not possessive, and it's like there's a higher calling. It's like the excitement of music, yeah. and um, that I'm honored to be a part of that. That's excellent. I mean, the the, the first single is called Tempest, right? It's going to radio pretty soon. Um, that particular song is what grabbed me in terms of the bass. Like it seems to have this almost like an ocean current to it, where it just it pulls you down, it pulls you out. Um, is there anything that you remember from the sessions, or even from that song in particular, that that stands out in terms of how that came to be? I just remember like really like a lot of the things happen in a similar way, where that uh, I liken it to like there's just like this uh, gurgling, and it just comes up, and everyone's just riffing, and everyone's doing things, and and um, sometimes like someone notices something, you know, you know, they're just like, hey, let's just jump on that and let's do something with that. And, and that song came up like in that way. It was very organic. We were just riffing and just jamming and, and all of a sudden it started to congeal and then it started to expand. And once there was like a couple of parts, we had a couple of circles that were going on and there was like Frank's bit, right? He's, you know, he's like, he's like, has that kind of arpeggiated keyboard line. And then like, it just kept expanding. There was more that kept being built on it. And it was just like, I, it, it was like, um, it's like life, you know, it's like these compounds come together and they're just by themselves, they're, they're chemical compounds, they're not really sparking, but when enough of them come together, it sparks something that's larger than the pieces and, and that's just one example of that. And the whole record's like that and it's so distinct because they, weren't, they didn't come together song after song. You know, there would be blocks of songs and there'd be ideas that just never made it that far. It's like the evolution of this organism. And uh, to be a part of that is just like, it's cool. Everyone put their best foot forward and it's tight. Yeah, it really feels alive. That's, that's one thing I wrote down, is it feels alive. And um, Romantic Dreams. Yes. Yeah, there's all kinds of tempo shifts and changes with that song. Yes. Um, in terms of the, the writing process, is it, is it a matter of trying to clue everyone else into what the original idea is and kind of snapping it into place? Or is it like... How does that work? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's like, and then it's like, whoa, it's like seriously, like two things just hit each other and it explodes and it's like, what just happened? You know, and you things are fusing out of, and people just jumping on it. It's just like, it sounds redundant, but that's how all these songs come together. Like, um, and uh, it's an amazing thing because it's rare in my experience. A lot of times people are very protective of their uh, bits or people are protective of their place in a band. And it's like, I've never been around so many talented people that are so collaborative. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, that's like, what do you do with that? You know, yeah. Except for like coming up with more ideas and yeah. just do it, you know, be part of it and be, you know, happy. Well, that song in particular, there's so many trap doors and there's so many places that it takes you where you completely don't expect to go. Yeah. You know, and how, how does something like that come to be? It's, it's fun. I, and it's not, it's not preconceived at all. It's just like, like you said, it just kind of happened. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to say. It's not like we said, okay, well, this is going in one direction. We need to switch it here and, and go in this other direction. It wasn't thought about at all. It just kind of, you know, it just kind of happened. Someone did it. Like someone went there and everybody just like, was like what and followed you know what i mean and then till the next turn was made and uh and those are the funnest songs to me because they're uh the dynamics in them and just like the shift in in uh you know in direction is like is exciting you know i i hate when you hear like the first 15 seconds of a song and then you pretty much heard the whole song i mean there you know there's a lot of a lot of a lot of records like that and that are you know you or you know but even by artists that you love for a long time, but then you hear that and you kind of get let down. You're like, 
wow it's like and then you so you fast forward the next song and then like you hear the first five seconds and then and then like you could pretty much search the whole song but it's like it never leaves that place you know what i mean and and, and some songs are good for that for just like being a one-trick pony and just like this is why i like this song because it, it puts me in this state and i never leave it but but some but uh i like songs that actually do the opposite and kind of take you out of your your element for a second you know in in in, in one song you can get you know sort of you know, knocked around a little bit and that's just kind of fun. Yeah. 